Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. XRP holders have had their $5 million worth of holdings liquidated by a platform called Nexo. I, I covered this story recently, it was just the other day, and I've got an interesting update for you because I'll tell you what, these XRP holders who are clearly none too pleased, they voiced their concerns, and now they're being threatened, legally threatened, as a result of this, and you will see exactly what I'm talking about, but my gosh, this is a fascinating uh, and, and terrible story. Uh, and so I'm sure that somebody out there listening right now uh, used Nexo and was a victim. I, I came across a, a handful of you guys on Twitter, and so nothing but sympathy for me here. I don't know what the truth of this is, but I still have some opinions based on the, uh, the data that's been made publicly available to this point. And so I just want to be clear, I'm definitely sympathetic. I want more facts, but I'm definitely very sympathetic to your position here. That's a massive amount of money, including one guy that lost uh, over a quarter million dollars without warning. Um, and this is, is all a result of the SEC going after Ripple. That's what started it anyway. But um, I do want to be clear before we go further. I do not have a fin financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos as a very fun hobby about XRP and Ripple and crypto, and that's all that's going on here. And if you don't like it, you can get out. All right, into the piece now. Uh, so this first piece was from April 4th, so I'm going to try and be quick with this one, but I have to cover this or else you won't have sufficient context and information for the, the, the brand new story that I'll be covering in this video. Uh, so let's just try and plow through this portion of it. Uh, cryptocurrency lender Nexo has been hit with a class action lawsuit over its unlawful suspension of XRP payments in late December that has caused $5 million in damages. And so uh, there's a plaintiff, I just, uh, last video, I, I just acknowledged, I do not know how to say his name. To me, the name is foreign, and I just called him John. I'm going to do that again. So plaintiff John filed the suit in the Northern District of California on behalf of other similarly situated users earlier this month. And after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission sued blockchain company Ripple, Nexo rushed to suspend the ability to repay loans with the affiliated XRP cryptocurrency or using it as collateral. It didn't provide users with notice of the suspension. So hundreds of affected customers were locked out of maintaining their loan-to-value ratios since they couldn't sell their tokens, which triggered a string of liquidations. And so here's a quote. Nexo thus effectively prohibited these customers from maintaining their LTV ratios and then punished them for not maintaining their LTV ratios. And so nothing but sympathy there. I, I can just tell you if that were me in that position and then I were locked out of my position and could not manage it, and then my position was liquidated, I'd be livid. I would be absolutely livid. I would be voicing my concerns also. And so um, the way that I approach everything in life, though, is before I have a firm opinion about anything, I want to arm myself with uh, facts as well as opinions from both sides of the argument. Uh, still, I, I have to acknowledge, I it's, it's hard. And I said this in the last video where I talked about this. I was like, this has got to be really hard to defend, but they're doing it, which is what I'm about to get to in this video. But first, I want to mention this. John claims that he lost $269,300 worth of XRP tokens that were posted as collateral. And the lawsuit says that Nexo, Nexo was uh, not entitled to liquidate the collateral of customers. The plaintiff counters the company's public statement uh, published on December 30th, which purported it owned the XRP tokens held as collateral. And then this final quote, if Nexo were to acquire the ownership of the crypto assets that Nexo customers post as collateral, this would be an extremely unfair result that uh, unreasonably favors Nexo over its customers. And that resulted from the, uh, the Nexo customers lack of reasonable choice or negotiating power over the terms and conditions that Nexo imposes on customers without any negotiation. And so th this is also, and I mentioned this too, I... I <laughs> Uh, in looking at how Coinbase and Bitstamp and all the other U.S.-based exchanges that halted the trading of XRP, in looking at how they handled that, I think they wanted to avoid anything even remotely like this. Even take away the the, the LTV stuff and the, the managing of positions, this and that. If you you may recall, you may recall that U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchanges that halted XRP trading, they gave notice 
whether it was a week or two or three or four, depending on the exchange, they did. So you had time to get out. So that would limit the possibility of a class action lawsuit coming after uh, any of these cryptocurrency exchanges for losses. Because uh, you know, I mean, their legal teams had to have advised them on this. So why Nexo didn't uh, like weigh the, the, the options a little differently, I don't know, because they could have given notice. And yeah, then there's still that risk. Okay, you kept trading it after the SEC uh, notified. You, you basically put on notice. The SEC says that XRP uh, is a security. That's what they're claiming. It isn't legally a security. That's what they're claiming. But, you know, you Nexo put on notice. So uh, you, you, you weighed your options. Okay, do we uh, do this to appease the SEC? Then maybe they won't come after us because we don't give notice and there's no more trading. Or do uh, do we... Like, like, who are you going to favor? The, the, you know, your customers are the SEC. And in this case, it looks to me as though Nexo decided to be safe and, uh, you know, not, try to not upset the SEC. But man, whew, what a thing to happen here. And so then there's this um, from Crypto News Flash. Our action was justified. Nexo replies to, quote, unlawful, end quote, XRP liquidation lawsuit. Uh, this is really something here. It's just, and it's it's fascinating. Uh, the way that they, and you'll see as I go through this, the way that they intimidate their customers was notable to me, right? So whether or not they're legally right or wrong, I'm not, I don't, I don't have all of the facts in front of me, so I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm just going to report the facts in front of me and note that I'm sympathetic to XRP holders. But my gosh, just wait and see how harsh this is. Check this out. All the actions we undertook in response to the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs were in full compliance with applicable laws and our terms and conditions. This is the response Nexo has given to a recent lawsuit accusing it of unlawful liquidation of XRP. The company has stated that the plaintiff lacks any understanding of the relevant laws and how markets operate. And so let me just say this. If Nexo is correct about that and they did not break the law... Those are some awful freaking terms. That is, like, it, it, that's what it sounds like to me. I'm willing to be persuaded, but it, it, that's what it sounds to me like to me right now. Being able to get locked out without notice, and that's legal? What the hell kind of platform is this? I, 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 I'm almost at a loss for words, but I'm not because I'm Moon Lambo and all I do is talk, but damn it, man. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so anyway, uh, the, the legal drama has ensued uh, following the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs in December. The regulator accuses the San Francisco company of selling unregistered securities in XRP. The Ripple effects were huge, from XRP delisting by major firms to an overnight price crash. As Crypto News Flash reported, the most recent Ripple effect is a lawsuit by one investor accusing a cryptocurrency lending platform of unlawful practices. Uh, John wrote a blog post urging the cryptocurrency community to refrain from using Nexo. Nexo. Then check out what happened here. This is absolutely like... This, seriously, check this out. The London-based firm operates a cryptocurrency lending firm that claims to have over a million users and $12 billion in assets under management. John followed the post with a lawsuit claiming Nexo rushed to suspend the ability to repay loans via XRP. This was after the token's price crashed overnight after the SEC lawsuit. And then they have this little subheading, we followed the law and our terms and conditions. In its response, Nexo has, uh, has denied any wrongdoing, stating that all its actions were legally justified. Okay, fine. Were they ethically justified? Could you answer that one for me, please? I would like that. I would like to hear what you have to say on that one. But here's a quote. The actions Nexo took, undertook, as a result of the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs and its founders were thus in full compliance, not only with all applicable laws and regulations, but also with the contractual provisions governing Nexo's relations with its clients. Man, even if that's true, like, is this doing... I think it is, and you'll see as I, as I continue to go through, it's like, they're aware that this is harming their brand. Like, to what degree I don't, it will harm the brand, I don't know. They have to be aware that the claims that have been made um, are, are harming the brand. Wouldn't you think here? Uh, and so that's why they want to shut up the people that are making those claims. And so, <laughs> check this out. The piece continues. Nexo admits to suspending XRP services following the SEC lawsuit. However, it points out that it was just one of many firms that did this. Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance were among the other market leaders who suspended XRP trading. 
Now, Jim and I, I'm about 100%, I meant to check that, I'm about 100% sure that Jim and I does not allow trading of XRP. Uh, that's the Winklevoss Twins platform, and they hate XRP. That's been made abundantly clear. And so in comparing themselves, though, to Coinbase and uh, Binance US, they wrote Binance here, but Binance US, halting XRP, uh, notice was given. <laughs> that's a key piece of information. What in the ever-loving hell? <laughs> that is not the same thing. Anyway, the SEC lawsuit would require all XRP service providers to abstain, obtain a specific license to offer a security. And here's a quote. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. The reason XRP pay, uh, repayments as a particular transaction type were temporarily suspended is that repayment, by its nature, constitutes a type of exchange service offered by Nexo. XRP withdrawals and collateral top-ups remain available to all users at all times as they do not constitute an exchange. Right, and so this is where I was going, was what I was getting at um, a little bit just a few minutes ago in the video. Right, so Coinbase and Binance US, they allowed the, continue, the continuation of the sale of XRP, and I think it was to avoid exactly situations like this. They gave notice, understanding that it, it did represent additional risk uh, that the SEC could come after them because they didn't stop trading of XRP right away, and they weighed the options, they're like, well, it would be bad for the brand to piss off customers and there could be additional lawsuits. Let's just give notice and hopefully that's good enough and the SEC doesn't come after us. That's what I think happened here. Nexo, on the other hand, was more like, huh, well, uh, screw our customers. That's what it looks like anyway. The, the optics are not good. At a minimum, it looks very bad. And uh, let's just let them get liquidated and not worry about it. That's what it looks like to me. And that's why I'm sympathetic. Um, now, Nexo denied John's claims that it breached its terms and conditions uh, these terms indicate that Nexo is within its rights to occasionally impose certain rules on loan repayments. Uh, this allowed Nexo to suspend XRP loan repayments. However, clients were still at liberty to withdraw their XRP and trade it on other platforms. In addition, Nexo still allowed the clients to repay their loans with other cryptocurrencies. Any client who sued Nexo or published unsavory comments against it online doesn't understand the applicable laws the firm stated. They also don't understand the contractual arrangements Nexo has with its clients or how markets operate. And so if that's the case, I, I have the question still, why is it that uh, these, these customers had $5 million liquidated then, huh? You answer that one. That, that, does, not, that does not look good to me. Now check this out. It gets even more aggressive here. Nexo to take legal action. The firm doesn't take lightly the accusation and warned any person making false claims that they are breaking the law. Uh, here's a quote. It is unlawful for an individual to make deliberate statements or incite other persons to do so that intend to harm the reputation of a business without any factual evidence and, as such, we are seeking full indemnity for the reputational damage we have suffered. End quote. Uh, the company has reported uh, has reportedly been attempting to settle disputes relating to XRP amicably for months now. Uh, these include a cease and desist letter it recently issued to individuals it believes are trying to damage its reputation. So, what it sounds like to me is that these these XRP holders got liquidated. They voiced uh, they voiced uh, their disgust for what happened, and then they got legal threats. Hell of a platform! What the hell is going on here? That is. The optics are not good at a minimum. I always want to be open-minded, and, and you know, I, I these, this is all the information I have on this to this point, but that does not look good. And so then uh, there's this quote, it is unfortunate that the individuals in question failed to meet our requests, forcing us to transfer the matter to our legal counsels to ensure our rights and hard-earned reputation are protected by all legally available means. Man, can you, can you imagine if like Coinbase and Binance US and Bitstamp if they came after every disgruntled customer like this, would they even still be in business? Like, that just seems really super aggressive. Like, this is, it's like you're on fire and you're adding fuel to the fire. Like, your, your, your whole thing is just burning. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, audible sigh. Tell me what you think below. Please tell me. I just, I don't think I have anything else to say, but I'd love to hear from you also if you're one of the people that um, unfortunately uh, was a victim of this situation. But I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.